So today's video is probably not going to be that funny. It's probably not going to be that thought out, I guess I should say. It's just going to be as real and as honest as it can possibly be, I guess. Hey guys, I'm Devin DeLima and I just wanted to like chill and just like talk to you guys. So last week, as you guys saw, I was in Atlanta and then I went over to Los Angeles and I had a really, really great time in both places um, for different reasons. One was to, you know, just spend some time with family. It was really nice reconnecting. Being able to just like hang out at my parents' house and just exist. Going to Los Angeles was really, really scary at first, but I ended up having a lot of fun and honestly you know I think I said in my last video like oh you know I might be putting up vlogs this week or the this week that you guys are watching this it didn't happen because honestly I didn't really want to like pull out my phone and have it like in front of me holding it up and talking to someone through a lens and be doing that I was just enjoying being there. This isn't something that I've ever really talked about on my channel, but now that I'm like, I don't think that I'm successful on YouTube by any means, but now that, you know, I have, uh, you know, however many subscribers I have, I feel like I am able to open up a little bit more about some things. Do I really want to go into this story? Forget it. We're going there. We're going there. We're going there. When I first moved to Chicago almost two years ago, I was so in love with this city. I was so excited to be doing something, to be going somewhere else, to be going to school, getting them my degree, and I was really excited about life. And then for whatever reason, my first winter here, I hit a really, really low point. In and of itself, seasonal depression is a very real thing, and that it's it just is what it is. But I mean, it was to the point where I, I think I was I was becoming agoraphobic, which is, you don't know, it's basically a fear of people. I was, I was afraid to leave my apartment. I was afraid to get on the public transit. I was having panic attacks pretty consistently, and the only place where I felt safe was in my apartment. I'm better now. I kind of took the time to work on me, and I was selfish, and and it's not always, that's not always such a bad thing. You can be selfish, you can work on yourself. You can sit there and spend your time focused on yourself and your own issues, which is hard to do when you're like me and you're in a relationship and you're trying to balance the two of being considerate of that other person, but also being considerate of yourself. And it's, it's really weird. It's hard to explain. I remember my first day at, um, at Columbia, at, in Chicago here. I remember my first class and I remember thinking on the way home on the train that I was too old for college and I was scared. I had missed my chance somehow and that everyone around me was going to be making fun of me because I was the older guy that was supposed to graduate like two years earlier and that it wasn't gonna work out. You know, I, I wish I could tell you that it got better right away, but it didn't. I mean, it got worse. Had uh, There was points where I had plans to be with my significant other and their family for like Thanksgiving that year and go out and I canceled. And that really hurt them. I was so upset with myself. I was so angry at myself. I was so angry at everything. I was like, why can't I just be normal? Why can't I just go out there? I got help and it's it's not like a take a pill and you'll be okay. It's just not. It's a daily struggle. The reason I started YouTube was because I was watching a lot of YouTube. It felt like I had someone that got me and it felt like someone understood exactly what I was going through and it just felt like I could put on a YouTube video of like Grace Helbig or Jim Dawson or whoever, and like I was hanging out with someone. I was being social without having to actually go out into the real world and face my fear of it. We're coming up on a year on YouTube and 
I'm so happy. I'm really happy with where I'm at. Um, I'm scared about graduating college in like seven weeks. I am scared about where YouTube is gonna go. I don't know where I'm going to live after I graduate. I don't know if I'm gonna be in this apartment. I don't know if I'm moving in with someone. I don't know if I'm gonna be in the city of Chicago or the suburbs of Illinois. I don't know. I mean, out of this trip, I don't even know if I'm gonna be moving to like Los Angeles or something. Like, I don't know. I'm really anxious about it because I feel like I'm not in control of my life, but then I have to take a step back and realize that no, 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 like I am. It's just kind of, I am manipulating the chaos around me, whether I realize it or not. I don't think that a year ago I would have been able to go to California. I'm so grateful for YouTube because without it, I don't know that I would be where I am right now. You know, even if no one's watching, it was a great, and it still is a great expression of my art and my creativity. And it made me feel so much less lonely. Like there's a lot, a lot of people out there in the world that deal with these issues and how do they function in the real world and then having to hit a low point in order for you to rise to a high point. My goal as someone on YouTube is I want to be there for someone. Like those YouTubers were there for me. Even if it's for five minutes on a Saturday morning, they can leave all that behind. I don't really talk about it much on this channel. I mean, I did last year when we raised over a thousand dollars for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, which is amazing, but you know, there's, there, there are people like my brother who is going through a lot right now. Um, I'm not going to really get into it because it's not mine to share. But my goal when I make a video every week is if nothing else, I want to I wanna make sure that he can laugh at least once that week. Because I wore a wig on the internet. Because... I put a dancing bunny to like techno music. Like I want to make sure that he is not dealing with all the real life stress. And that goes for my parents. That goes for anyone who's watching. Thank you guys for supporting. I really do appreciate it. If there is someone out there who's watching this who wants to talk, hit me up on Twitter, tweet at me at Devin Lima or uh, Instagram on like comment on Instagram find me you can find me somehow and all the social media links in below send me some kind of message on tumblr I don't care um, I'll, I'll make sure that I respond to you if you need me to sorry if this video is like super depressing and you know not funny at all but you know hopefully next week I'll have something funny um <laughs> I love you guys. I feel like I've said that like nine times, but I do. And I will see you guys next week for a brand new video. Later.